Hello and welcome to the second installment of the Godot platformer tutorial series. Let's not waste any time, let's first start by opening our project. If you play the game, you will see that in the last episode we added the ability for the player character to move horizontally by pressing A or D. However, there is no gravity and the player is unable to jump, so today we will be fixing that. First we will need a platform for the player to jump and land on, so create a new scene which will be our test ground. Add a static body to D, as we do not want it to move, and name it test ground. You can then add a sprite to the static body 2D and select an appropriate sprite, I will select the blue tile 3. Finally, we will add a collision shape 2D, so that the player is able to interact with it. Select Rectangle 2D from the Shape menu and adjust its size. You can then hide it in the inspector. This will be it for the test ground scene, you can then save it in your scenes folder. Then simply proceed to add the test ground to our main scene, by using the button next to the Add Child button. Adjust its size and position as you see fit. If we now play the scene, you can see the test ground, but there is still no gravity. So let's fix that. Go to your scripts and start by adding two integers. The first one will be the gravity force, which we will set as 40, and the jump force, which we will set as minus 700. We can then very simply create the illusion of gravity by constantly adding our gravity force to our speed y, under physics process. Now if we go back to our scene, move our player up, and play, you can see that our player falls to the bottom and hit our test ground. Now that gravity is set, let's add the ability to jump. We would like our player to jump if the spacebar key is pressed, so let's add that action button in out input map, like we did previously with A and D. Now we can copy our if input is action pressed statement and change the UI right to alt jump button that we just set. Next, we will simply set our speed Y to our jump force if the spacebar key is pressed. If we play now, you can see that our player is able to jump. However, there is a problem. Our player can constantly jump forever. We want him to jump only if he is on the floor. We can do that by checking his on floor is true before we add our jump force. Since we already told Godot which direction is up, Godot can know if he's hitting the floor or not, which is very handy.
If we play now, we can see that everything works perfectly, as the player is only able to jump when he's on the floor. This will be it for this video, in the next video, we will be adding animations to our player. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you later, bye bye.